kind of an interesting experience for, in terms of my friends, um, living in the digital age, it kind of happened with the click of a button on my MySpace, um, and then instantly all my friends knew. Hey, we were at a restaurant, and she, sa she asked me, she, she said, do you like curls? <laughs> like ready to spit out my drink, you know? <laughs> and, I, and I completely lied to her and said, of course I do. And then two months later I told her, and she came around and accepted it. My father, on the other hand, I told him probably, he was probably one of the last people to know, I told him about five years later. She quoted the Bible, and I said, well, I don't believe in the Bible. My mom was kind of shocked. My dad ran away in the corner or something. I, I think it's just in time to adjust. They just needed to adjust to me. And then when I told them, my dad, that I was a lesbian, he asked me, like, are you a lesbian? And I told him, yeah. I, did, I lost some friends in middle school when I came out as bisexual. Like, I would get made fun of a lot, actually. She confronted me. Um, Instantly, I knew what it was about, and I got those butterflies. I was like, "Ugh, why? Why is this happening right now?" Um, but she sat me down and she said, "I don't know why you would hide that from me. It's fine." Um, the first time I came out was in college, actually, and the first person I came out to was a female friend of mine. And my friend was sitting on my lap. We we all were having a good time, and it was a Friday night. We had a friend's apartment. And I leaned over and I kissed her and she pushed me away and she said, oh, get away from me, you're gay. And I said, I know. <laughs> and, then, and, then I, and then I said, I caught myself and I was like, what did I just say? I wasn't ready to come out. I wasn't ready to say anything to anyone. And she just looked at me and she said, I know and it's okay. Um, I came out in ninth grade to my friends before my family, actually. And then I kind of had my mom help me come out with the rest of the family. Um, she told, um, she helped me tell my brothers. For whatever reason, I kept it very private for a very long time. In fact, I didn't tell my parents that I was gay until I was 37, which was four years ago. Um, and it was based upon an irrational fear that for whatever reason, despite all of my success in life, um, that they might be disappointed in me for some reason. And actually my father, who is a very cool gentleman, asked me, he said, so, what's the deal? Are you gay? It was kind of a relief for me. And I remember going, uh, yes, I am. And uh, so they came out to see me and they asked me if I was gay and I was, was stunned, but I told them that I was. And they said, would, would you like us to tell your parents? And I said, yes. And they literally, they had taken me to a restaurant. It was a Howard Johnson's, I remember. And my uncle left the Howard Johnson's. I stayed there with my aunt and my two cousins who were little girls at the time. And my uncle went and told my parents. And he came back and he was ashen. And it did not go well. <laughs> and my father flipped out. And my mother flipped out. and. Um, Pretty much, my father's all going to be 80 soon. He's still flipping out. My mom, things are cool now, but she, she got over it, but my dad never did. I was ashamed that I didn't tell them sooner because I didn't trust them in the way that they had trusted me. You know, my, my mom said to me um, when we were having this conversation when I came out, it's like, you know, we, we knew that you would tell us when you were ready. And um, in that moment, I realized that I had been such a fool and that I should have told them years ago. And I actually came out on Christmas. Um, it was a Christmas present. <laughs> uh, but my parents already kind of knew. I was just kind of confirming what they thought for a very long time. And for me, coming out was actually really easy. Because uh, I'm an only child. My parents really love me. Like, they, I knew that they were going to be supportive of me no matter what. Uh, but it didn't change that it was really hard. Because I was an only child. So it was kind of like their only shot at having a you know straight son marrying a woman and moving on to a family and all that so I knew it was going to be depressing but overall it went really well it went better than I had expected originally coming out to the rest of the world friends community members uh, college classmates when I finally did go to college was easy coming out to my mom was interesting <laughs> I was petrified because She's always said it's not normal, God didn't make you that way. But like, I wrote her a letter and <laughs> left it on her bathroom mirror so that when she got home from the gym, 
I would already be gone for school and the first place she goes is to shower so she'll see the note. And like I wrote on like the bottom of the note, like text me when you see this, don't talk to me in person, I'm too afraid. And at school is the only place that I'm 100% out. My family doesn't take it very well, but they'll come around eventually. It's not something that's going to go away anytime soon. <laughs>